I'm Andy Grevstead, Applications Engineer at Tormach. Today I'm going to show you what to do with your PCNC 770 mil once it's dropped off. It comes in a big crate like this. Um, what happens after that is what we're going to do today. Uh, open it up. We're actually going to use the hinge kit, the moving kit, to uh, disassemble the 770 into a couple smaller pieces so we can more easily move those to a smaller location like a basement shop. Let's go over to the workshop and I'll show you how to get started. The PCNC 770 is 662 pounds. Uh, to give you some perspective, that's about the same weight as a, a full-size pickup truck engine block, so moving this around isn't trivial. Um, still the best way to move any of the PCNC mills is to uh, go to Rena Center and uh, get yourself an engine hoist for the day and then use this lifting bar which gives you a balanced pickup point for the mill. However, if you want to get into a smaller space um, or have some space constraints like a basement shop, the PCNC 770 is the first mill that we know of that's been designed to disassemble into several pieces so they can be more easily managed and moved into a tighter space. And today we're going to show you how to do that. The 770 moving kit has uh, three components to it. Uh, wooden covers to protect your precision surfaces from damage during disassembly. A special fixture to support the spindle head um, when it's detached from the machine. And this, which is uh, a hinge that allows you to safely lower the column off the base of the mill. I'm going to add the washers and the nuts. So now that I've removed the head from the column, it's very important to protect the uh, precision surfaces here and here. Um, and that's what these boards are for. So what we're going to do is take the same bolts that we uh, originally used to, uh, the mill originally had bolted to the uh, column, and place them here and tighten those. So we're almost there. Um, I've got the hinge. I'm just about ready to install it in these tapped holes right here. Um, there's just a couple things that I need to do. Um, disconnect the oil line from the uh, base to the column here and disconnect the electrical connections into the cabinet. Oil line from the base to the column. 
And the three uh, electrical connections to the stepper motors, these are quick connects, so they just unscrew. There's a little jam nut there, and it comes out. One more, and they're there. So I'll just get these guys started. And drive these in. The hinge is designed uh, with a little bit of play in it so you can push that up slightly to get those in the right spot. So there you have it, it's a piece of cake. Well, not exactly, but it can be done in about three or four hours. Make sure to take your time, have plenty of help, and recognize that all the pieces are still quite heavy, so take the appropriate safety precautions. Thanks again for watching, I'm Andy Grafstead for Tormach.